Hello, my name is Laura, and I'm here just to show you what my son has been doing for kindergarten homeschool and what he'll be doing for first grade homeschool. Um, my son has special needs. He has a lot of attention problems, sensory processing disorder, as well as a speech delay, which has gotten way better, but still struggles there. So for homeschooling, um, we started off with one reading program and it wasn't going as well as I wanted it to go. So we switched to this um, all about reading and it's going well. Reading is slow for him for, I don't know, whatever reason. It's just how it is for him, but it's coming along. He is reading words. I mean, he knows all of his letters, letter sounds, all the basics down. It's just getting him to blend words together himself. I have to do the blending for him. And then he always gets the word right when I blend it, but he's not like looking in a book and blending the words together himself. So that's what we're working on. But yeah, it's coming along and I really love this uh, all about reading program it's yeah I would highly recommend it so he's only on level one and that's fine but yeah it's a really good really good program um, I don't know if I will be using it next year probably going on to level two for next year in first grade for him but I don't know like maybe if he all of a sudden gets really good at reading. Um, maybe I won't need something this expensive, but we'll see. So yeah, this is just, this is the activity book. Um, and then it comes with the nice books for them to read. And then the teacher manual. And then here's an example of like an activity, Sent putting together sentences. Um, and then just review words and stuff like that. So we've been doing that for reading. Um, I have these here. We've been, I use these to teach um, number bonds for him. Where is it? See? Number bonds. So I, like, I'll put a number there and then we'll make the number bonds like that. You've got to excuse my hands. They're really dry because I wash them a lot. So, and I don't always use lotion. So, yeah. Okay, so for writing, his main problem, his main, main struggle is handwriting. So we're working on that a lot. So I have this writing journal. Um, you can draw a picture and then practice writing. So as you can see, his writing is rough. Rough, rough, rough. And you know, both my husband and I, we have horrible, horrible handwriting. We probably both have dysgraphia, which is, um, yeah, basically just having a really hard time writing. So I'm sure he probably has it too. So yeah, he definitely does not have good genes when it comes to writing, but we still need to work on it, even though it probably will never be good. So there's that handwriting book, or journal, I should say. Um, and then we have this handwriting without tears book we're working through. Um, let's see. Let me just see how he writes in here. I think he writes a little better. Well, no, never mind. Yeah, we're working on this. So for next year, he will need a handwriting uh, practice book, of course. Um, I don't know how far... Well, we'll probably end up doing this in the summer, this Teach Me Writing. Probably end up doing that. Because we, um, I'll be continuing homeschooling with him in the summer. Okay, so that's writing. And then for math, you know, this might seem really bad of me, but I actually just kind of wing it. I have a list of all the things that um, kindergarten, kindergartners do for the subjects. Um, and I just been printing out 
worksheets for math. You know, like this, and word problems, and um, shapes stuff, and then uh, um, like place value, tens and ones, and you know, all this kindergarten math, basically. And um, yeah, math is going really well for him. He enjoys it. He's good at it. I think that's going to be his thing. So, yeah, he's on, he's definitely on a kindergarten level with that, if not a little above. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, oh, social studies. We do. I don't know, basic stuff like days of the week stuff. And we do a calendar every single day. Um, and, you know, worksheets like this. And then I have him also watch social studies videos, you know, on like community helpers and whatnot. Um, yeah, I don't like to do a worksheet for everything. I don't know. Yeah, I just don't. You know, I'm new at this homeschooling thing, so maybe some of you experts are like, she doesn't know what she's doing. Well, he's learning a lot. He's he's doing well. So, um, for next year, did I miss anything? Science. We do. Um, sorry about this. We do um, science video. I have not look at science videos on. Um, YouTube and then just print out some sheets, do some experiments and have him um, write about it or trace stuff about it. So, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I'm not the best at this homeschool stuff. Anyway, so next year I plan to get better at it. So, um, I'm sorry about this camera okay so we're gonna do geography I have this geography book that we're gonna work out of maybe just like a page twice a week or something like that uh, oh we do Spanish we started a Spanish program for kindergarten and that's going really well I like this um, so we will continue that on for first grade and we'll do grade two that's what we're going to do. And then I found this wonderful uh, science curriculum for first grade. I'm really excited about this. It looks really good. It gives, before each unit, it gives an explanation for the parents. And then suggested reading list, which is really nice. And then um, the worksheets and stuff. The activities. So that looks really good. This was... Um, this was, I want to say, about $8 for this. I would recommend it. I mean, I haven't started it yet, but it looks, yeah, it looks really good. I would recommend this. Social studies. Ah, oh, this book looks so good. I'm going to, he's going to really like it. We're both going to really like it. Yeah, it's just, the pictures are nice, just laid out so well. He turned to the same page. Okay, yeah. There's like little stories to read. And then there's, I think there's a workbook that goes with it. But we'll just, I'll just have him write down the writing activities in a notebook or something. But yeah, I would re highly recommend it. Harcourt Social Studies, Child's View. This was about, um, I think I got this for $12 as well. No, $15, I think. But I think it's well worth it. Highly recommend it. So that was just my list of stuff. Um, I got this homeschool planner organizer from Amazon. There's a lot of homeschool planners. But this one looks really good to me. So, yeah, I wrote down what curriculum I'm using because I have to have documents of that for 
the school district. Uh, well, let's see. Okay, so this is grade one complete curriculum, and I think this looks awesome. I can't wait to dive into this next year. It has reading, math, spelling, language arts, writing, test prep. Which is awesome. Harcourt Family Learning. Um, yeah, this just is, it's going to be great, guys. It's going to be really great. And I would highly recommend it. Again, I haven't tried it. We haven't tried it yet, but it looks great. Just lots of fun activities and all that. All that good stuff. Yes. And then I also have this workbook just in case we need any more or I think we he needs more worksheets or whatever. And this has more of that stuff. It ha Well, it also has um, science, social studies, and maps, which this one doesn't include. But we've got it covered. So, yeah, just more math stuff we could use. Just lots of good stuff. And I love the pictures in here, too. It looks really fun. Um, that is it. I have a, oh, Healthy Kids Club download from Teachers Pay Teachers. And, um, we'll use that for health and FIED. But, yeah, I think that's, that's it. Um, yeah, if you have any suggestions or comments, whatever, just, you know, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to read them. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day. Bye.